Hey guys, welcome to the ICD10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 28 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operations in ICD10 PCS. I'm Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training, and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified from both Ahima and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation division from the third group of root operations. We will also look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section. And remember, the medical and surgical section is the most important and the biggest section of IC data and PCS. If you master this section, then all the other sections would be easy to code. As I said previously as well, there are 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section alone. And these root operations are divided into nine groups of surgical procedures based on similar procedures. Today, we are looking at the third group, which talks about oper root operations that involve cutting or separation only. There are two root operations in this group, the third group, division and release. Now, for the root operation division, the goal of the root or the procedure is to cut the body or the body part into two or more parts. Okay, more of or most of the autumn procedures fall into this particular root operation. However, sometimes if another root operation appropriately describes the objective of the procedure, you may need to code uh, that procedure to uh, different root operation as such. But otherwise, most of the autonomy procedures fall into division as the root operation. Now, for the root operation release, the goal of the procedure is to free a body part from an abnormal constraint or a restriction, like for example, freeing up uh, adhesions. Okay, that is the root operation release. Now, today we are looking at the root operation division, which carries a character value of eight. Again, remember, root operations are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. And uh, remember that root operations define the objective or the goal of the procedure. Always read the definition of each of the root operations and then compare it to the other procedure or the procedure performed and then pick up your code or the root operation. Now, division. So the root operation division is defined as cutting into a body part without draining fluids or gases from the body part in order to separate or transect a body part. Now, division is coded when all or portion of a body part is separated into two or more portions. This is simply cutting through a body part. Now, these are examples of procedures that fall into this particular root operation, division. Spinal cord otomy, osteotomy, neurotomy, and episiotomy. Observe the word otomy being used here. Okay, now this is an example of coding division as the root operation. Okay, so percutaneous osteotomy of the capitate and the lunate bones of the right hand. So basically, this procedure is division of the capitate and the lunate bones. Okay, now again, this is a very good example of coding multiple procedures in ICD-10 PCS. I'll tell you why. Now, if you look at the question itself, this was a division of the capitate and the lunate bones, right? 
Now, there is something called as the body part key in ICD-10 PCS. Okay, this is an index. The body part key is an index which is av available in PCS, which provides alternative values or terminology for body parts. You may not find the body part, for example, you cannot find the capitate bone or the lunate bone as a body part value directly if you search for the tables. Now, in our example, if we search for the procedure in the PCS tables, there is no body part value which shows the capitate or lunate as body parts. If you look at it, uh, you know, on the screen right now. Now, this is where we need to search the body part key. So, if you search for the capitate bone or the lunate bone, you will find that both the capitate and lunate bone in the body part key index lead to the same body part value which is carpal, carpal right or carpal left. Right? It leads to carpal bone. Now, this is the corresponding table that shows the division of the capitate and lunate bones. Section is medical and surgical. Body system is upper bones. Now, remember, when I say upper bones, there are some body system values in PCS wherever you see upper and lower. For this example, upper bones and lower bones. Upper is nothing but anything above the diaphragm is always coded as upper. Okay. And anything below the diaphragm is considered as lower for the body system value in ICD-10 pieces. For example, upper bones, lower bones, upper arteries, lower arteries, upper veins, lower veins, and so on. So be careful with, uh, you know, the body system value as well. Now, root operation is division for the third character value. For the body part, now since there is no capitate and lunate listed here and we went into the body part key and when we looked at the capitate or the lunate, both are leading to the carpal bone as the body part value, right? So we will use carpal and since the procedure was done on the right side, we'll use the body part value or the fourth character as carpal right, M in this case, okay? And approach is percutaneous. No device for the sixth character and the seventh character is Z for the qualifier value. So the code for the percutaneous osteotomy of the capitate and lunate bones of the right hand is 0, P, 8, M, 3, Z and Z. Now, since the body part value for the capitate and lunate bones leads to the same carpal bone in the body part key, we will, need, we will need to use the same code twice to cover for the capitate bone and also the lunate bone. So, this uh, same code is coded twice in this example. Okay. Now, key points from this video. We were talking about the guideline for multiple procedures. Okay. So, when... Multiple procedures are coded when the same root operation is performed on different body parts as defined by distinct values of the body part character. We just saw an example. Okay. Secondly, the same root operation is repeated in multiple body parts and those body parts are separate and distinct body parts. In those cases also, you'll have to code uh, multiple codes. Again, third point multiple root operations with distinct objectives are performed on the same body part. Okay, in these cases as well, since the root operation will change for each of the uh, goal, you'll have to code separately for each procedure. And the fourth way for fourth point for multiple procedures is if the intended root operation is attempted using one approach, but then later on converted to a different approach, you'll have to code two codes. Let's say for example, uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy converted to an open cholecystectomy. Okay, in this case, you'll need two codes. Since the laparoscope was attempted, but was discontinued, you'll have to code it as inspection. And then it was converted to an open cholecystectomy, you have to code it as an excision as the root operation. This way, two codes would be required. Okay, so this is one guideline which is important in ICD-10 PCS where multiple procedures are coded under certain circumstances. So this is where you'll find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS manual from CMS. And the link is also available in the description of the video. So you can download it and refer to the code from there. Thank you guys.
thank you for watching and supporting me please subscribe to the channel if you have not done that and follow the series from the playlist for the complete set of videos in the next set of videos we'll talk about the third i mean there's one more root operation anyways release and then we'll move on to the fourth root operation in ic data and pcs and i'll also start a separate video series for cpt coding in the coming weeks thank you so much